The big mana deck. Save it, save it just for last for Zach. End it on a high note. I'm already giving it to Tron. Like. <sighs> so if, if Team or Tooth and Nail wins, is it the same shot bet? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think Tooth and Nail is going to be fast enough. They don't have, you know, land destruction. They don't really have a way to keep Tron from doing what Tron wants to do. I mean, they're going to ramp, I see, but they... I just don't think that if Tron goes turn three Karn, exile your, uh, your, land's your, enchanted. your Topia, yeah, yeah, the Enchanted Land, I don't think that they're really going to be able to do much about it. That's fair. I can see that. Now, it's, it's going to kind of come down to who stumbles first. But yeah. I think that yeah, I mean, Tron turn turn turn, go turn one Arbor Elf is probably the best play you can do against Tron, just hands down. If Tron goes turn one map, then oh, this is the updated one too. It's yes, like this Lattice. Yes. Yep. Turn one map. All right. Map. John now knows <laughs> that he cannot mess around. You mean it's not John? The person plotting this deck, which oh. is um... blank on his name now. God damn it! So he says, "Fetch shock." Cure's follower. Cure's follower could put him up to four mana, five mana next turn. Yeah, and if you if you have like Utopia Sparls. Well, he also has the Arbor Elf, right? So he could just go, like... Yeah, so he can play something for so three. three. Uh, which looks like a tracker. Tracker. Okay. Tracker's not, tracker's not bad. Tracker's not bad. And it's because of the fact, like, if you if you play... Alright, so he's going to have turn three Tron. If, like, if, uh, if he goes Karn, right? It's like, okay, like, do you want to exile a land? Or do you want to take up this tracker that's going to kill Karn? Kind yeah. of thing. Yep. Like, force, forcing them to have to pick, I think, is, is a fine choice. So I still get my Tron land. <sighs> the only deck that I think is worse than watching Tron was KCI when it was legal. Well, you might be going back to that with the new Urza. That fucking deck. <laughs> the best part, though, the only reason why it was exciting to watch was if it wasn't Matt Nass piloting it, <laughs> and if they just didn't know the loop. <laughs> and they were like, how do you, uh, you, how do you, you, you just keep uh, going down for the loop, but all right. Uh, there were some people that just like couldn't get it and, oh. and their opponents were like, no, do it, play it out. Yeah. <laughs> show, show me that you know what the loop is. And then they would mess up and they would lose the next turn. Yeah. And it was, it was great. But then you, you would always get the match, the matches where the opponent would know the loop and they just concede. I'm like, oh no! No, it's the no, no, it's, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing with with Scape Shift or Storm. It's always like, show me, prove it, prove prove me you have enough mountains left. Show me, show me the money. How do you beat Scape Shift, Shimmer? <clears throat> Mountain. Uh huh. Okay, so he says attack for three. Yep. So no. I, I, uh, crack a clue. Draw crack a card? two clues. Crack two clues. All right, draw two cards. Uh, that sure shit looked like he drew three cards. Am I crazy? Does that look like three cards? I can't. I can't hundred percent say either way. I wasn't paying that close of attention to his draw. Good old Carney boy. Yeah. Yeah. I was, you no, you have to. Tracker. Yeah. Dan gets face up, but you know, whatever. <laughs> All right. Untap. There's no lightning bolts in this deck. Is it four, five mana? 
lot of lands in hand. Garouk wouldn't be terrible here. Primal Command. Uh, so does he tuck Karn? Yeah, I think yeah, I think you tuck the Karn, and then you get a creature. It puts it on top of his library though, doesn't it? Yeah. <sighs> so he just plays it again. Yeah. Because I say I think you if you're just. Why did, Ugh. why did he show him the second primal command? Maybe he thought he could get Primal Command, and he was like, no. No, I don't, I don't know. That's so weird. Uh, bird, 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 what are you doing? Get Tireless Tractor. Says, sure. Uh, plays another Kawa. So ten mana. So there's four. There's, there's Karn. Four. Go, oh. go get Maiko. Just yeah. lock him out right now. Lattice, Micasynth, Lattice. Go get Micasynth. Just tap it for six. Oh, yeah. We're done. Yep. G, G, moving on. He says, uh, yeah, sure. And he goes, uh, I'm gonna go get Micasynth, Lattice. Yeah. And his opponent has no idea what's happening right now. He goes, Mike's and Lattice, into my hand, tap six, play Cast Mike's it. and Lattice, okay. and then he goes, and, and, oh wait, no, I'm fucked. Yeah. Alright, I, I think, instead of playing the tracker, I think we should play the follower and just try to keep, like, go big. Yeah. I'm just trying to ramp there. Yeah. Alright. So, that was, that was one for drawn. That was. Uh, so let's talk about the sideboard. Is anybody else, like, super shocked by that? Uh, no. Um... Like, obviously, Nature's Claims, the Negates, the Ancient Grudge. Yeah. Nature's Claims to hit the enchantments. Spatial Contortion. I don't really care for it. Thought Not Seer might not be terrible. Craft Digger's Cage. Doesn't do a whole lot. Is bad. Thraktus right. could be an option. Um, I don't. I, I think it would just be the contortions. Yeah. Like contortions, maybe thought not seers, but I think those are the only things you would I think possibly bring in. Good too. I think they're both gonna bring in their nature's claims. Yeah. I mean, you have to. Ancient grudge probably comes in. Negate probably comes in. Trinisphere would be stupid to come in. Yeah. Crumble the dust. Crumble would dust. Be you, really good. Yes, yeah, so you definitely want to bring crumble the dust. Um, and then I think maybe your own warm coil engine. Try to fight there. Yeah, I can see that. And then probably take out. Probably take out Xenagos. No, uh, that's your combo. Because Xenagos never cools your combo. Oh, because it doubles it. Yeah, it doubles the power and gives it the haste. Okay, so never mind. Um, take out Time Warp. Take out Tooth and Nail. <laughs> Take out the namesake card. And yeah, that sounds like you. <laughs> oh. I've never, ever done that before. Take out a namesake card? No. Because I don't play cards named Burn or Death and Taxes or... Or Jund or... Uh... I guess I do play Painter Servant. Ooh. But I've not ever taken out the combo. Yeah. No, I say I think uh Yeah, I mean now like after oh God, after this weekend I'll have the next few Saturdays off, so I think I'll probably start getting back on the on the the local standard grind, especially since they're doing that weird channel fireball bow tournament. Are they doing it again? Yes, Bruce is doing it. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be as big as the Channel Fireball ones. Apparently, there's now they're in the beta stage, but their uh, play is offering beta way more of the the profit margins, and so then it makes the individual ones profit margins a lot slimmer. Yeah. So, 
Uh, they're doing their own where like uh, the total price payout for the top eight, which is apparently going to be a draft. Top eight is going to draft and then play, and then uh, but they're going to have like three boxes worth of price support. So. No, it's not bad. And I say it's not terrible. I can't. Um, and I think they chose draft because then it's it's a little, it's it's fair to the people who don't have like a tier one standard deck. Yeah, and it, it challenges you to, you know, build a good, a, a decent deck. Drafts can be a pain in the ass. Like I'm not very good at drafting. I uh, enjoy it. I am. I'm, I'm probably better way better at limited than I am. I, I feel like. At limited, I'm I can like identify the cards that are m- most likely going to be played, how to play around them, as opposed to like constructed. It's like I know how most of the decks are, but the thing is that like people will always play like some weird one ups or silver bullets that you just you can never account for. Yeah. As opposed to like limited, it's like okay, like here's a common uncommon. These are what's most likely going to be played. I'm, I don't you know I'm not going to play around a bomb rare. Like, yeah. Like oh I can't attack because if he has this bomb rare I'm going to lose. Like no like we still attack and we force him to have that bomb rare. <laughs> Attack with everything. Uh, declare all my blocks. Yes, Archangel Avison. No. It's yeah. Oh yeah. No, I've I've had that happen multiple times, and it's just like, yeah. I mean, like I'm gonna. You had the mythic, okay? Like it sucks for me, but like I'm I'm not gonna play around a mythic and limited. <laughs> my uh, my experience with that was Archangel Avison. Sure, trigger on the stack, murderer. You can't do that. Yes, I can. Yeah. Because the trigger goes on the stack. Yes. She herself is not indestructible until that trigger resolves. Correct. And murder. It's like, I lose the rest of my guys, but sent a message. <laughs> and they're like, oh, this is bullshit. Well, call a judge, bro. Yes. Yeah. Um, oh, during War of the Spark, I had the green, white, put a plus one, plus one counter on every creature you control. A jump. No, it was the spell. Oh, uh, the yeah, okay. Instant, the instant yeah. speed spell. Mm-hmm. So I had that. Um, and then I had the, the four drop guy that... Bunny! I, c- coming in for like the last game. Did you get your promo? Promo? Yeah. He, uh, when we were doing the booster box game, he won a, a promo later on Triumph that we sent out. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so I played a card that said when it enters the battlefield, proliferate. And then I was like... Yeah. All right. Trigger on the stack. Put a counter on everything that I have. Proliferate. Yep. And my opponent was like, what the fuck? <laughs> just happened. Okay, uh, so Tron doing Tron things. Tooth and nail. Ramping. Actually, this was smart. Uh, yeah. Tap for two now. Slam a follower. Yeah. Sounds pretty good. Hey, your land is tap, buddy boy. There, there you go. go. All right, okay. There <laughs> you go. Okay, so they're looking at two. Three, four. Seven. Five, six. Seven mana already. And it's turn two. Yeah. Uh, Probably turn three. Possibly eight. uh, Depending on... If they play a land for turn, then eight. Uh, And, like... If... if, He's got a land in hand. Yeah. So, eight. So, if you go eight and, like, Hornet Queen, it's like, okay, you have to have... You have to have Ugin or O-Stone to deal with this board. Yeah. Which is... I mean, it's never a bad thing to force. Like, all right, show me... (laughs) Vince has a second. Vince has a second, or the Tron player has a second Tron land, and he also has an Ancient Stirrings. So I don't know why he just doesn't crack, play Ancient Stirrings. Yeah, I think it's right. okay. So I mean, yeah, like for green, draw a card. Draws a forest. Yep. All right. The Ancient Stirrings. Does he have the other two pieces? I don't think he has the other two pieces. Why wouldn't you put the pieces together in your hand? Uh, did he just nature's claim that? Yes, he nature's claimed a uh, utopia sprawl. Okay, not bad. What? I think now you play the forest and you ancient stirrings. Yeah. Okay, that makes a little more sense. Because now. you brought him, you brought him down so much just yeah. by doing that. Oh yeah. I mean, you uh, took four I mean, mana away y- from him. Y- yes and no, because like if he can play a land and then have like the wild growth enchantment and then just like untap it twice and still have access to, then he have access to nine mana. Six. Yeah, it have like access to six. Six on that turn, but then the next turn is just bad. And the problem is that then you, then you don't have... Like, you're not getting Tron online next turn. What do you take? You take the Tron, man? You 
Mr. Trump? Oh, what? Are, okay, what are you doing? I mean, yeah, like that Taking would, no, that wouldn't be a bad one. The Tronland. Tronland, yeah. Um, I said like I'm I'm waiting for the Urzas, and I'm, they're probably gonna. I have a, a tentative list build with the with the war deck that I'm liking because we're switch, we're switching over to Thopter Sword for it. Um, I said like the list is <laughs> probably gonna change a bunch, but he said attack for three, pass. Oh, so he didn't have a third land for turn. Ooh. Nope. So, I mean, this is where this is where Tron starts to take over. This is where Tron probably will take over is the problem. Because I mean, he stumbled. He did. Oh man, like he looked, and he had a time warp in hand too, right? Like seven men, like time warp, play something else, oh, like let's go. Yeah, ancient stirrings. So find find the he needs to find a tower, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. And there's two Tron lands in that five. Three Tron lands in that five. Pro tip: don't play different arts of your Tron lands. I had a buddy that did that. He grabbed the wrong one and yeah. was like, "Oh." Yeah. I mean, I've I've done that just to throw because you throw up your opponent with the artwork, but you have to like you always double check. Yeah, like yeah. you have to know what you have. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, he thought he grabbed a tower, but he grabbed the mine that looks like a tower. Yeah. And uh, he plays it, and he goes, "Oh no." Oh no. <laughs> he died. Uh, yeah. Getting a blast zone. Blast so I'm guessing zone. he didn't find the, the Tron land specifically he needed. Yeah, I'm thinking he whiffed on the Tron land. So, I mean, he, it, he's still no third land. Yeah. All right, so another stumble. Um, oh my goodness, yeah. It's so bad. You cannot stumble against Tron. No, you cannot. Uh, I think he's got another power Plant. Oh wow! Three. Is, is that the one? Third ancient stirrings. Is the green one the power plant? What do you mean? Yeah. That the he has a power plant on the board and a mine in the back. Still didn't find the tower. Jeez. So find, he, find a map? No. All right. He found a star. Uh. Play it. Crack it. Did, are you to gonna get the, hit the last one? Uh, Bunny, are you gonna play any of the Modern Horizon pre-release stuff? You got a box. You're fine. I did. I did pre-order a box today. I, you, I bit the bullet. If you... Did you get it for the 200 price? Um, I ended up paying like 216 after tax. That's not bad, though. But yeah. Uh, if you get an to let me know. Because I'll need at least two. I think the only thing that I sacrificed was the box topper. Or the, the, the buy a box promo. And I don't really care. What was the buy a box promo for? Roaster Storm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Alright, yeah. Uh, I mean, like the set overall isn't terrible, um, but yeah, I'm like I'm. I know I'm gonna do some seals. Ewit, get back, oh, enchantment, sure. uh, untap, enchant the land. Yeah, like you're still just so far behind. I mean, like he... the blast zone's on one. Oh my god. Yeah, blast oh. zone is gonna two for one. Oh. Don't feel like that was. Yeah, Tron's and online. he said Tron. If he goes, if he goes Ugin, we're looking at nine. He says oh, O Stone is the same same effect. Like he says you blow up O Stone. I think you just concede here. Yeah, you're at two lands against Tron with nine yeah. and a blast zone that can just deal with whatever you put out. Yeah. I don't know. I think some uh, some interesting things are going to come out, but. You kind of have to think that when Wizards does a set like this, yes, they're trying to add to the format, but... They're also trying to shake up the format as well. Limited. Which, yeah, I mean, they're, yeah. They're going to sell a lot of it because of Limited. Oh, yeah. Like, Karn... He, yeah, he, he doesn't have enough card. to cast since last that turn, but yeah, like when you're at two lands, you're just too far behind. Yeah, you just didn't have anything to do. So, go get Lattice, and then you're like... Yeah. Sure. 